my very great pleasure to welcome you to the official handing over of some very special equipment for our training program for first responders and electric vehicle technicians. JPS and the IDB Lab have created what we call a powerful collaboration to deliver this exciting three-year project, and it's a long name, Building a Sustainable Electric Mobility Ecosystem for Inclusion and Access, and we chose last year to rebrand it to Project eDrive, and it is being executed by the JPS Foundation. So Project eDrive to us symbolizes the partnership and cooperation between both organizations to sustainably influence the transition and transformation of sectors critical to national development. By extension, us at Project eDrive, we have formed strategic alliances with other stakeholders as we seek to develop this ecosystem. The primary aim of the eDrive project is to create an enabling environment for a sustainable electric mobility ecosystem. Consequently, the project emphasizes capacity building and training, as well as creating opportunities for small and medium enterprises and their employees in the EV value chain. And we all agree that the outcomes of this project will be transformational for the average Jamaican. Moreover, it will ensure a heightened awareness of electric vehicles by the public, as well as an understanding of the support systems available and the associated entrepreneurial opportunities. We have been doing a lot of work, and our first responder training has officially begun. Here at Jagos, here at Jagos, we are just completing week three for our first two cohorts, and those cohorts are from the Jamaica Fire Brigade, as well as the JAA, REACT, as well as Jamaica, and those are our insurance REACT providers on the ground. And then our third cohort, we journeyed to Port Maria last week, and we met with Lady Alicia and Miss Boga and her team there for the, for the orientation for our third cohort, again, another group of Jamaica Fire Brigade persons. And training there will begin on March 6th. And at the South West Sea Vet DRC location, we expect within another week that we'll have our first orientation there also for our first responders. So we're making strides, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. We are here to celebrate yet another milestone. It's the handover of our training tools and personal protection equipment in support of delivery of the training. Um, Claude was in here earlier. Uh, oh, he was here. And he said, you kept your word. We keep our word. Yes, Claude, that's what we do. So these tools today include motors, inverters, insulated HV hand tools kit with torque wrenches, insulation testers, meters, and head protection gear, to name a few. We have completed another leg of the race, and we look forward to the finish line the upskilling of 400 Jamaicans in this new electric mobility sector. A very special thank you to Mrs. Tanisha Chambers-Taylor and her team here at Jagos. Thank you again for opening your doors to us and allowing us to host this event here today and all the other times we called you to say, can we have a meeting here? And you made it available. We are really thankful to you. You and your team, we say, we want to say we're plugged in and charged on day one. <laughs> and we really could not have done it without your support. We look forward to the start of the other training programs in the coming month. And we invite you to stay connected on our social media platforms as we keep you updated on the success of our trainees. I thank you. You know, every time I come here, I'm filled with hope and a sense of pride at the work that the heart and I see it just like it does. You know, when so much is going wrong at times in our nation and you see the opportunities that are being created for young people, you feel a sense of hope and that there is a future and that we can continue to go on. And so heart, big up yourselves. 
So I'm delighted to be here this morning marking another significant milestone in the life of Project eDrive, an initiative designed to help change the face of transportation in Jamaica as we know it. We at JPS are convinced that vehicle electrification is a game changer. Not only does it represent a paradigm shift in how we understand the relationship between transportation and the associated fueling power, but it also represents the birthing of a new industry and a new employment sector. We are in fact witnessing a revolution, not unlike the digital revolution and many others that have taken place before. Consider for a moment, if you will, a Jamaica in which small, medium, and large enterprises are tapping into the electric vehicle sector. Envision a system where financiers, manufacturers, vehicle dealers, technicians, educators, real estate developers, charging station operators, and many others are creating value, creating employment opportunities, and creating cost-friendly options for motorists, all in an environmentally friendly manner. We are on the doorstep of a winning scenario. <clears throat> and JPS is not simply trumpeting this for others to engage. We are leading by example. Just last month, we kicked off phase one of our vehicle replacement program which will see in the short term 40, EVs being no, 40 vehicles being replaced by electric ones. Once the present vehicles have reached end of use, already we have deployed eight vehicles to four locations across the country. We are, however, also aware that for EVs to gain traction in Jamaica and remain a viable alternative, we need to not only have the vehicles themselves, but a robust physical infrastructure, policy framework, and also adequate human resources, local expertise to maintain and repair these vehicles. This is a vital part of the e-mobility ecosystem that we seek to build. And it cannot be understated. We have a tendency at times to bring things in nice shiny toys and we celebrate and then when they break down we say sure they're not good <laughs> but we need to invest in the maintenance to ensure that we have a sustainable system working through so through project eDrive we are pleased to invest over four million in the acquisition of this new equipment and an additional 9.2 million for the training program and overall investment of over $13 million. <laughs> With the delivery of this new equipment, which our project manager has already outlined, first responders and electric vehicle technicians will be able to maximize their learning experience in preparation for full functionality in the world of EVs the world that we most certainly will occupy in the near future. I just want to speak to you briefly this morning on the importance of collaboration. In a country as small as Jamaica, we collaborate or die. Going at it alone is no longer enough. And no single organization could possibly deliver the complex, the ever-changing solutions cost consumers and society demand year after year. No organization or country could hope to make meaningful headway on issues far-reaching as economic equality or the energy transition alone. We must, we must reach across borders, across social and economic divides to generate diverse thinking and to have new skills. And so the Heart Trust understands this concept very well. We believe in partnership and collaboration. Strategic partnerships allow entities to organically reinvent themselves and move to the edge with purpose, an inescapable necessity in this ultra-dynamic world. 
indeed partnerships with both the public and the private sectors have been a mainstay of this organization since our inception in 1982, and we're proudly 40 years old. It is therefore an honor to be here this morning to publicly acknowledge and thank our partners, the JPS Foundation, for not only recognizing the need to develop technical capacities in local training institutions to meet the new demand for skills arising from the emergence of the electric mobility industry, but also for handing over to the Hart NSTA Trust electric hybrid vehicle training equipment that will greatly assist us in training skilled workers in this highly competitive field. Let's thank our partners, JPS Foundation. Mr. McDonald and Team JPS Foundation, we at the Heart Trust use this opportunity to thank you for believing and investing in Jamaica and Jamaicans. We are proud to be one of your active partners. We are proud to be called a family and a beneficiary of training equipment that will change and improve the lives of many Jamaicans. We look forward to future collaborations as we build our country and our home. We understand that we are not each other's competition. We are each other's reinforcement. Thank you. We now hand over the equipment to commence another important phase of training and development. We anticipate the addition of more highly skilled persons to the pool of those handling electric vehicles. A changing world rushes towards us and we are pleased to be able to prepare for it. Let us continue to work together for the electrification of transportation in Jamaica, a cleaner, more cost-effective option for us all. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.